WeatherWords is a production of The Reporter, Delaware County's leading news source. Good day to everyone. We're standing in front of all my tiger lilies. The sad part is they don't come out till about 9.30 in the morning. Lillian was hoping to get the picture with them all out. It is beautiful when they're all out, but they close up at night. So we don't do this late in the day, so you won't get to see them open. However, that is a sign that it's summertime. Usually they're out by graduation in the high school. Last year they were a month late. They bloomed at the end of July. This time they're all blooming and it's the middle part of July, which means, okay, that's like two weeks better. But believe it or not, this is the first week where I can really say the temperatures got into the normal area for summer. After I talked to everybody on Monday, we did get to 76 degrees on Monday. Okay, the humidity went up a little bit, but it wasn't a bad day at all. And then on Tuesday, it went to 78, and by afternoon, boy, was it humid. Okay, it was like, oh, yeah, step outside, walk three steps, and go, ugh. Yeah, that was on that day. And they were predicting all sorts of things coming and terrible storms and everything else. And at 2.30 in the afternoon, we got our first shower. I said, oh, that's good. I hope we get some more of it to water the garden. Well, Wednesday morning, I went and measured. Seven one-hundredths of an inch. That's barely enough to settle the dust. However, we'll take it. And then yesterday, believe it or not, it rained enough to wet the roads for a few minutes, and that turned out to be two one-hundredths of an inch. What that does for us at the moment is give us 1.08 inches of rain for July. And believe it or not, that's actually good. Because we have parts of our state right now that are now under drought watch, which totally surprised me because we really haven't been short of water. I mean, we've had five days with nothing and then it pours like crazy, but we haven't had any extended period of time without rain. But apparently parts of our state, and I'll tell you where they are just a minute, are haven't had rain in some cases for two to three weeks now and the ground is dried out. So I don't want to send our rain to them because believe it or not, okay, here we are today and we have fog. The fog formed when the temperature hit 52 degrees on its way down, which is where we started this morning. That means our dew point was 52. That's actually comfortable humidity. It's when it gets up into the upper 60s and the low 70s that you get that thing called the air you can wear kind of a thing. Okay, so once this burns off, and it will today, we'll get again to the mid to maybe 77 degrees in there someplace. And that's okay summer temperatures. Normal for us this time of the year is 80. So if we don't reach 80, that's okay with me. But the next five days, nothing but sunshine, no precipitation at all, and it's supposed to rain next Tuesday and Wednesday. It's 60% and 40%. We do need to get something or we'll start looking like the other parts of our state. The area over by Buffalo and Rochester, they have a horrible drought out there. They tell people that are spring fed and whatever to watch their springs and whatever for low water. Over on the other side, right past Albany and all the way up where we border the Massachusetts border and up where we touch Vermont, they haven't had any rain either. It's all getting to us and the Adirondacks and on either side, they're basically getting nothing. So we haven't had a drought here. I went and checked my records in 23 years. Generally we get one about every 10. So we're way behind as far as drought and that's fine. I don't really want to see drought. The last 10 years we've had precipitation so far over where we're supposed to be that Hopefully under your feet, once you dig down, it's probably okay. It's the surface we have to worry about. And over at my brother's house, there's some burnt areas where all the stones are in the lawn over there. I really don't want that to happen. It might cut down on the gas expense for the lawnmower, but you know, we'll see what happens because we can't control what's happening. So let it rain next Tuesday and Wednesday, that's fine. Give us five nice days, that's fine too. Because maybe, with all the temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. Finally, I did check, I have some little peppers, they're this big, okay. I have some little bits of squash, they're that big, where normally I'm harvesting them already. The tomatoes, they're about that big. 
they're supposed to be about like this. So, five nice days? Okay, that part will finally take off. That's fine. So, that's fine with me. I will be cutting the lawn again probably on Saturday morning just so it's all done and then nature can do what it's going to. So there's nothing dreadful on the way and if you like nice weather, that's fine. You know, a little light wind, that's okay too. Except if you get out of this pool or out of whatever and you stand there all soaking wet and it goes <sighs> and then you say, God, it's cold out here. But you know what? It's good for sleeping. I'll take it because nighttime temperatures are going to be in the 50s. That's nice too. So all in all, not bad. And I'll talk to everybody again on Monday and bring you all up to date. To subscribe, advertise, or sponsor WeatherWords, call 607-464-4009.